Hello and welcome back to my programming channel. My name is Ryan and today we'll be looking at how to run a Java program through command prompt. Alright, well let's get started. Okay, so just a few notes before we get started. A few programs that you're going to want to have at the ready is Notepad and Command Prompt. We'll be needing both of those in this tutorial. And also you can see here I made a, an, a new empty folder called Java Program and that's where I'll be saving the notepad file for our hello world program that I'll be using okay so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go ahead and open up Eclipse and I'm just gonna copy and paste the program from the last video and if you need to know how to do that links on screen right now and this way we can save some time I'll just go ahead and control C that right now this is just our hello world program and so the object of this is to get in command prompt it to say hello world uh, that's just our println statement right here okay so what I'm gonna do now I'm gonna go ahead and open up notepad I'm gonna control V that gonna go ahead and paste that so as you can see here we have our public class hello world public static void main and our system println hello world alright I'm gonna go ahead and save that I'm gonna find on the desktop the folder that I just made so our Java program file now you need to save this file exactly how the class is saved so as you can see our public class hello world you need to make sure that that and the file name is exactly the same so I'm gonna make sure I name it hello world but another thing that you need to know is it needs to be dot Java so I'm gonna save my hello world dot Java file right now okay so we can go ahead and minimize that and as you can see in our Java program file we have our hello world Java file alright so now that we have our Java program saved in our folder we can now open up command prompt and take a look at a few different steps that we will have to take before we can actually compile and run our program uh, just a quick rundown of what we will actually be doing is first we need to change the file location as to we need to tell command prompt where our files located so on the desktop I'll show you how to do that and then we'll need to set the path and then set the class path and then we can compile and then we can run okay so now let's take a look at how we change the file destination for command prompt to know where to locate our file so what we're gonna do is CD and then desktop and then now that we're in the desktop folder we can do CD again and then we can do Java program and as you can see we're now in the Java program file okay so now what we need to do is we need to set the path so I'll do set path equal to quotation mark and now this is where it can kind of get a little confusing I'm gonna leave that there for a second and what we need to find now is when you downloaded the Java development kit it saved it in in your folder in a folder and we need to go and access the bin folder from there so I'm gonna go ahead and go to my operating system program files I'm going to find Java open up the JDK and then I'm gonna open up the JDK bin file now up here in this bar I'm just gonna click off to the side here and as you can see it gives me a link so I'm gonna go ahead and control C copy that and so over here you can't control V you need to right click and paste okay so now that we have that that's our set path so we're accessing the bin file and to finish that off just another quotation mark and then a semicolon and then a percent sign and then set path and then percent sign notice that the first set path has a space between it and the second one does not so now I'm just gonna go ahead and press enter now you will not know if this was entered correctly there's no notification or anything that that pops up so you'll find out soon enough if you enter that correct or not and now the next step is to set the class path so I'm gonna go ahead and write set class path and I'm gonna put that equal to period semicolon percent sign and class path 
and percent sign again. Okay, again, nothing pops up to let you know if you did that right. But uh, again, I hope all goes well. All right, so now that we have the set path and set class path done, all we have to do is compile our program and then we can run it. Okay, so to compile, here's the command. It is Java C and then space and then our program name with the dot Java at the end. So we'll do hello world dot Java. And did you see it kind of take a little little second to load? That uh, that means it compiled and a way to check is if we open up our folder, we can now see we have a hello world dot class class file. So now now you're golden. Now now you know that you will be able to run your program. So to run it, the command is just java and then the name of the file with hello world and nothing else, just java and hello world to run this particular program. And as you can see right here, it says Hello world, and that's all there is to it, guys. Um, I hope this was helpful, and uh, if you have any questions, uh, please leave a comment below, and uh, see you later.